Hello, this is Rev. Don Lewis, and welcome to another week of Living the Wiccan Life. This week, we continue our coverage of Halloween in Salem with Ed the Pagan. First, we bring you the fabulous Vampire's Ball, and then the annual Witch's Ball. I'm Karen Cotton, the director of catering here at the Hawthorne Hotel in Salem, Massachusetts, the witch city. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the Hawthorne? The Hawthorne Hotel is 80 years old. We're a historic hotel of America. Uh, we sit right downtown Salem on the commons in the center of downtown. Um, 18th century uh, feeling, very historic. Uh, we even have some great ghost stories in this hotel as well. And this, this legend has it this hotel is haunted. Uh, yes, legend has it. Um, it's only on one certain floor and it's not a, uh, they're nice ghosts. Absolutely, I've heard, I've heard some of the stories. Mm -hmm. um, in the late 60s, you had the Bewitched cast here, too. This yes, thing, yes. Called the Salem Saga. Yes, yes, we did. Um, pretty much, they did come here and film. And Elizabeth Montgomery, uh, she stayed here as well. And I believe it was a couple of years ago that they did a statue for Bewitched. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of controversial in the city of Salem whether to put that statue here. Um, downtown, but they did, and it is here, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, I've taken pictures of that, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, you've gone from that, now you literally, during the season, almost have like a witch's convention. That was a fictional witch's convention. Now you almost mm -hmm. have like a witch's convention here almost every night. Yes, it, it all kicked off actually last Sunday, um, or the week prior. Um, always the second Thursday of October is when Salem kicks off and has a big parade. It's, it's one of the biggest parades in New England for, for Halloween. And it was Thursday, the Thursday night, I believe it was October 4th. Um, since then, Salem has had thousands of people coming in and out, staying here at the hotel, um, and various hotels and B&Bs around here. Um, this past week, beginning last night, the balls have begun. Um, where Halloween is on a Wednesday, they started last night. Mm -hmm. And would you like me to name the different Sure, that was, that was the Vampires. I was here last night with the Vampires. Oh, were you? Okay, the Vampires Ball. Um, I've worked with the Festival of the Dead, Christian Day. Mm -hmm. I've been working with him for about five years now, planning this wonderful event and events. He has about four of them here. Um, this evening, he has the annual Salem Witches Ball. Uh, it's about 250 people. And tomorrow night, the Hawthorne Hotel has their annual Halloween costume ball and that's pretty much the biggest it's a thousand people and people come from all over the world all over the world for this um, pretty much the people that stay here at the hotel are the same each year it's very and, and of course you're gonna have Lori Cabot's on one day uh, yes uh, Sunday actually we do have another big seance with the festival of the dead Sunday night a big seance here in the ballroom and then Wednesday night, the actual night of Halloween, is the official Salem Witches Ball, which is Laurie Cabot. Now you mentioned Christian Day. He seems to be one of the biggest organizers in town. Very, very, he very. He to do a really exceptional job. Of he that. is a f fine man. He, he plans these events. He works so hard, um, and it pays off well. He now, obviously, the Hawthorne is the place you want to stay during Halloween, but it, I, it's hard to get here, isn't it? Um, hard to get here, meaning from... Meaning you have to really put your reservations in early, so if people want oh, to come to... Oh, to stay here? Yeah. Absolutely. We do not take any reservations, like right now we're not taking any reservations for next year's Halloween weekend until, I believe, two or three days after Halloween this year, because we like to give our loyal clients as well the opportunity to rebook for staying here. Halloween tickets, same thing. Um, we don't take any reservations, but yes, we fill up probably three days after Halloween for the following year. And so it's like good as, if you get a reservation here, it's good as gold to, to be here. It, it sure is, because and you could walk everywhere. You're right in the center of and everything. All, and for non-Halloween times, you also have a great, uh, a great restaurant. Oh gosh, yes. Oh gosh, our, our springs, our summers, um, even holidays. It, it's just the perfect setting for any any type of event, especially weddings, the spring is beautiful with the Salem Commons and the trees and also October, it's not just Halloween, those first two or three weeks for October weddings with the weather and all and the fall leaves, it's lovely. Um, conventions, we have lots of them come up from Boston, we have a lot of tours that come up from 
Boston or east, west, north of here. Um, we do not just Halloween events. We, we really have big Christmas parties, uh, corporate parties of 500 and more where we let them have the whole lobby, the tavern, the restaurant. So no, it's not just Halloween here at the Hawthorne. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to say to our? No, except happy Halloween and uh, come to Salem. Thank you. You're welcome. We have the elements before us. The night is assembled. Those of us that wish to join the ranks of the unliving, come forward and bear them off. Don't all gather at once. <laughs> Who first? Yeah. We bless you in the night.
Can you introduce you a band from Jersey City? They are here to explore your most tangential nightmares. Please welcome Ghost Orgy. I hope you enjoyed part one of our episode. Please join us for part two when we'll take you to the Witch's Ball.